Hello, welcome to the app tutorial for the Hayward Army Logic Automation System. Today in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to navigate your lights. You can see here I have a pool and a spa. Then I also have a backyard icon. Now I do have a light in the backyard, it's a tree light. And I'll show you how to get to each one of those. You have multiple options to get to your lights. You can either hit the body of water that you want to turn the lights on for. And in this case, this is the pool. And I have a lights icon for the pool. And it takes me to all the lights in the pool. This light icon right here is going to represent all the options I have for colors. If I hit it, you can see I have all of our fixed colors that are built into the light and our shows that are also built into the light for you and make it easier for you to turn on some kind of theme. Say USA would turn the pool on a show that does red, blue, and white. If I go back here, if I want to turn on the light and the light icon here says deep blue sea, what it's going to do is it's going to turn the light back on whatever color it was on last when I shut it off. So if I don't want to navigate through multiple options, I can simply turn the light on and it'll return to the color it was on last. Right next to the deep blue sea is a sync icon. And every once in a while, if there's a lightning storm or someone is playing with uh, multiple items at once, you can find that your lights can come out of sync. And all that means is that this icon right here says deep blue sea, but in reality in the pool, it might be green or red, and you want to get it back to sync with the icon. When you hit this, it's going to shut the lights off briefly for a certain amount of time, and when it comes back on, it's going to be synced back up with that icon. Over here to the right is a timer icon, and it's actually a countdown timer. And if I push it, it's going to give me a scroll menu. And in this case, I'm going to make it two hours representing that it's around 8 o'clock at night, and I don't want to remember to turn my lights off at 10 o'clock. So two hours from now, it will do it automatically. So when I hit start, it starts the countdown timer for me. Next to that is a schedule icon. And just like we showed you how to create a schedule for your filter pump, it is all the same for your lights as well. You can do it customized with color and light show each day of the week or just weekends. Below this, you can see I have another light in my pool as well, and it's for a bubbler pit. And if I want to turn that on, just like up here, I simply hit the icon, and it's going to turn that light on as well. Every one of these light options has a timer menu and a schedule. If I go to my backyard, by hitting the backyard icon, you can see I do have lights in my backyard. When I hit lights for there, I have a tree light lighting up a tree in the backyard. And if I want to turn that on, it's going to be the same exact way that I turn on the other lights. I'm just going to hit the icon. That tree light is going to turn on. And then, of course, if I want a countdown timer or a schedule for that, I have that option as well. The only other light I have in here is for my spa, and it's all the exact same. So everything, every way you navigate the lights is going to be very similar. So it's easy for you to navigate how to turn on each light for individual bodies of water. Or, of course, you can attach all these lights to a theme and turn them on with one button. Thank you for listening to the Hayward Army Logic automation tutorial on how to create a theme. Continue to visit Hayward Pool Products at www.hayward.com along with our social media sites for helpful information about your Hayward products.